So you're going to start out by creating a new instrument. It has to be a drum sequencer. Once you get to this screen right here that lets you pick a template, just close the window so you can get to this window. This is where you really want to be. Once you make it to this screen, you want to long tap on the empty sample slot. When the menu opens up, you want to hit load sample. From this screen, you will select my files if you want to access anything that you put on the phone. Otherwise, just scroll through the list and pick through the stock sounds. If you're not sure how to add your own sounds into the FL mobile app, I made a separate video walking you through the process and I'll leave a link in the description below. With that being said, I really appreciate it if you take a couple seconds to subscribe to the channel. After you're done picking all your sounds, you can just close this window and then long tap on the instrument so you can save your template. From here, you can rename it whatever you like and hit save. So now that you've got it saved, let me show you how to access it and use it. So first, you want to open a new drum sequencer and tap where it says drum templates. Next, you're going to click on where it says my files because that's where your files are. Now, scroll down to the folder that says my drum sets and voila, see your kit right there. Have fun, y'all. And like always, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.